Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we've got episode 8 from season 2 of The Crown. And it says, inspired by Jackie Kennedy and against her government's wishes, Elizabeth takes an unconventional approach to resolving an issue with Ghana. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Last one was Margaret's proposal and wedding and all that entailed. So let's find out what happens on this one. Wow, look at those birds. But as Africans, tired of being disrespected and abused, the strategic importance of Africa hmm. and are willing to treat us as equals. Not as subordinates. Oh. 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 Sorry, you right? Yes, fine. What's wrong with your feet? Is she okay? Good when is it, do you think, if one's committed to a life of honesty, that one must start calling oneself middle-aged? <laughs> it's hell, isn't it? Oh, stop it. You're still a young girl. Finish your family. Get the first one go to school. And then let's talk about being middle-aged. Mm. She's so young. I always thought she was the same age as you. She is. Oh! <laughs> oh, she is pretty, isn't she? Uh-oh, she's going through a midlife crisis, huh? Record players, I miss them. <laughs> what a writing item on the agenda today, ma'am. Ghana. Now, continued concern from Krumah's growing hostility to the West. Following his great triumph in Paris. Indeed. I thought Gore didn't care for Mr. Kennedy. No, it doesn't. Personally or politically. So, what planned it all around? The First Lady, ma'am. Mm <laughs> hmm. Why? What did she do? Dazzled Le Tout Paris, had President de Gaulle eating out of her hand. The most glamorous and intelligent woman on earth. <laughs> so they say. <laughs> Is it possible to think you could be marginally less excited? No. <laughs> this is the guy that plays Dexter, plays Kennedy. For God's sake. Come on, it's like royalty. Wow. Very funny. <laughs> Since we're royalty. <laughs> Majesty. No currency, no currency. Mrs. Kennedy. Your Grace. Your Royal Highness, Mrs. Kennedy. Yeah. Good evening, Your Royal Majesty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President. Nice to meet you, Dexter. I feel like that went wrong in about 10,000 different ways. I've seen worse. I'm not sure when. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's feeling inferior. He's a little too flirty. What are you doing? She wants to draw the place. Does she? Well, then I'll do it. You know, it's all right. She wants me. No, it's my house. So I'll do it. Ooh, Lordy. It's not your house, it's my house. Jack's idea of heaven is a crowd. Campaigning, fundraising, speech making, that's when he comes alive. He'd far sooner speak to 10,000 people under the glare of spotlights than be alone with me. Now she's seeing that it's not all it's cracked up to be. But deep down, I'm happiest with animals. Makes two of us. Oh, so they got a lot in common, huh? I always think my sister would have made, if not the better, the more natural first lady. Oh, mine too. A born queen. <laughs> <laughs> and the greatest of British queens, in her own mind, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. They got together. He called me this morning to tell me some of the things he'd overheard her say at dinner. Uh, oh, what did she say? Mm. I'd have to ask Patrick. I said, it seemed a little unkind. Just a tad bit. Patrick. Your Majesty. It's so kind of you to come. Oh, God. I hope she doesn't say anything nasty about her. 
I'd like to know what was said. What'd she say? No, oh, it's going to be bad, I can tell. But she found Buckingham Palace second-rate, dilapidated and sad, like a neglected provincial hotel. Uh-oh. And that one Get came that. away with a sense of a tired institution without a place in the modern world. And did she have anything to say about me? Oh, I knew she was going to ask that. But in our head of state, we had a middle-aged woman, so incurious, unintelligent, and unremarkable. Ooh. The Britain's no. new reduced place in the world was not a surprise, but an inevitability. <gasps> oh, my God. We must have her again soon. Wow. Oh, that hurt. Mm, mm, mm. Poor girl. She's been through a lot. But she's still standing. And where are the Kennedys? Why don't you send me? Where? Mm -hmm. To Ghana. On what would be seen as a personal trip. Absolutely not. That would be out of the question. Then. Why? A visit from the Crown to Ghana would be seen as a huge compliment. Too great a compliment. It would be, in my view, a profound misjudgment to get on that plane. So she's going to do it anyway. You can hear the plane taking off in the background. <laughs> well, right now, they're still under the monarch, right? The monarchy. Stop. Stop. That one moment, please, ma'am. Yes. We're very happy to be here. Ready. Mm hmm. That's all he wanted. We encourage the Americans to go back to Nkrumah. Soviet engineers, ma'am. It appears Nkrumah has been playing us all off against one another. What? <laughs> He's like, oh, Lord. We have Martin Charters on the telephone. The situation is developing in Ghana. Oh, Lord Jesus. I think we both understand the significance of this moment. Yes. But do we understand the terms? <laughs> it's some kind of negotiation. What kind of negotiation? Get her out of there. <laughs> And they're going to dance. Awesome. Oh, Lord. What's going on? Oh, my garage. Look at their faces. Their faces are priceless. He's taken that home. They're dancing. Our queen is dancing, sir. With an African. What? Was this agreed? Was this agreed? <laughs> I believe it's the foxtrot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is it to be an American today? Prosperous, powerful, Privileged. Certainly. Dexter, that's all I can think of. I'm sorry. I look around me and find our people divided as never before. That made this evening worthwhile. Mm. Yeah, he was a little bit of a cad, supposedly. And an African state that was fast running into the arms of the communists has been turned around and kept in the West. Mm. Oh, what does that have to do with me? Dreary queen, thick ankles. The incurious crown. Mm -hmm. Apparently just some of the things you said about her at a dinner in London, which then got back to Queen Elizabeth, and it seems spurred her on. 
I am due back in London on my way back from India and Pakistan. Ooh. Office is written requesting private audience with your majesty prior to lunch on the 28th To apologize. Well, let's make the audience Windsor Castle. Ah! <laughs> I asked to speak to you in private ahead of our lunch on Friday. <laughs> because I owe you an apology. Whatever for. I think we both know the answer to that question. There are other factors too. Our doctor. Dr. Jacobson routinely administers us his cocktails before major trips. Ooh, get the hell out. The way you do your job, the way you cope with the pressure, the personal sacrifices you've made, not to mention your composure and dignity. Mm-hmm, exactly. As a woman, it's so inspiring. And what you just did in Ghana was just extraordinary. See, being pretty and all that ain't everything. He was apparently shot in the head, and the governor of Texas, Governor Connolly, was shot in the chest. Mm, God, that gives me chills. I was five years old when that happened. Mm. We went to school first grade and had, got sent home. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> that brings back memories. <laughs> and I would like the bell rung at Westminster Abbey. Custom dictates that the bell only be rung. When a member of the royal family dies. But I would like it to be rung every minute for an hour from 11 o'clock until midday. I thought maybe she'd go to the funeral. She's going to write her a letter. Wow. Isn't that funny how things can change so fast? Man. And how your perceptions of people can be so totally wrong just by the outside appearance. So, All right, well... Leave your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And we will see you on the next video. Peace out. Oh, I always do that. Peace out.